All right, what is up everyone? Here we are. You another beautiful day in paradise. So pretty much all the snow's melting down out here. It's the cold uh whatever, cold front left town. Um everything's melting. It's like, I don't know, around 40 degrees it seems like. So I don't know if this stuff's gonna stick around much longer, but I'm kind of happy about it, considering um, now we can actually go outside and do stuff without being freezing cold, so it's a good sign. We are headed to, back to the spot in Redding area, my grandfather's house, to work on that house more. We're gonna do some more painting pretty boring day but uh, hopefully we'll find something exciting to do for you guys for film so follow along with us and check out what we got going on clean this one <laughs> so much trash <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys do the same thing probably not but I just use my one side of the truck where I sit <laughs> as the trash can and I just throw all my trash down there <laughs> yeah but you did the same no I try and put it in the bag not, babe babe <laughs> not so much though man. because of you oh shit hold on and I remember staring at the ceiling trying to deal with emotion All right, we passed by this spot yesterday. Um, you can hold that if you want. And I wanted to show you guys then, but it was getting dark out and I wanted to see this in, in clear light. Um, so, our friend Mike Nespor, who passed away on a, in a motorcycle accident, he Pretty much we, we used to hang out with them when we were younger. We moved to New Jersey, didn't come back for like 10 years. Saw him at the skate park and he had a nub tattoo on his arm. And it was like the craziest scenario where like he had kept nub, nub TV alive like in Pennsylvania and started his own like nub crew. Where is this place? But either way, he ended up passing away and I guess this is just so overgrown. And he built like an epic DIY spot up over here. Him and the boys, like Eric Wright. But I don't know, like, I guess it's totally overgrown and gone now. Cause that was like a while ago that I was here last. Years and years and years. Oh, I see some of it. So this whole lot in here, it's like a little paved tennis court and it was all set up for skateboarding at one time. Pretty epic. So you can see somewhat remnants of what it used to be, but there's like a couple pipes and shit left. some wood and the remnants of what used to be some ramps here but here's an old quarter pipe or it's a couch actually so not much to see here left but a little history of the nub boys um, from back in the day the, uh, they made a nub, it was called Nub Nation, their DVD, and a lot of the video, videos were filmed right here. 
I had only been here like three times, but. All right, I guess in memory of Mike Nesper, I'm just gonna cruise around and come back. Not much, but I can kind of feel the energy. I can't make excuses because I'm so brutal at skateboarding, but someone tightened my trucks. I can't remember who it was, but uh, I was wondering why it was so stiff. Like you can tell, because usually I like my trucks really loose. But either way, it was it was worth coming out here. The weird thing is, one time uh, we were working literally across the street. And Nub, Nub, it just said Nub, not Nub TV. There was no Nub TV at the time. Uh, was spray painted on the, the dumpster over in that building over there. But it wasn't any of us that did it. And then we were like wondering how it got there. And then we found out about this place uh, through our friend Jesse Keithley, because he was friends with Nesport too. And he was working with my dad at the time. He's like, oh yeah, Nesport uh, spray painted on the dumpster. And then he said, there's a skate spot right over there. So I went and checked it out. Pretty cool. Honestly. All right, we're out here in the safari out, out in Pennsylvania. North, northwest of Pennsylvania, we found the remains of a, a wildebeest. Uh... We've been searching for these bones for centuries, and finally we have some evidence to bring to the council. Looks like human bone. I don't know. Look at this old stone, what's left of a big house. I guess this is Berks County Parks and Recreation. Epic nest. All right, we're at the Home Depot in Exeter, maybe. But we're gonna get a painter's cloth that doesn't leak through. So we're gonna try and get one that says like guaranteed no spill, whatever. Probably more expensive, but the one that we have is kind of like a drop cloth for like, I don't know, I guess you would put it over like a couch to paint above it. Because if you spill like a speck of paint on it, it goes through to the floor. Um, also we were going to get this stuff, it's like the goop, I don't know what it's called, Sammy claims the, uh, go. No, isn't it like goopy gone or something? Goop be gone? I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> I just feel like it starts with a G. <laughs> back again we are going to try and finalize this room and it looks really good um, finish the closet get all this stuff off the floor touch up what needs to be touched up and then we're gonna try and move the piano back into here my dad's gonna buy an area rug and then we're gonna move the couch from down there back to where it was and a table so it looks like it's actually livable in here. That's the next plan at least. So I just feel like the ceiling might need another coat, which is crazy, but.
so we're working away. I did a second coat up there where I'm pointing the camera. And Sammy was down in here cutting in pretty much all the areas. So if you can see where that's white and cutting in all the areas around all this stuff and the trim. So I just came in here with the roller and started rolling it, so. Cliche, but teamwork is the way to go. It may be so much easier having someone do the cutting in it and then just coming in with the roller and two people on the job. So much sweeter. But this is a heavy job. We used two of these five gallon buckets already and this is the third one so I'd say by the time we're done the whole house four to five five gallon buckets so around 25 I would say like 25 gallons almost of paint that's how big this house is actually Bob's bedroom didn't even get touched yet I forgot about that room altogether and the basement's gonna need some other kind of paint. It's not gonna take the same. So I would say 25 gallons easy, if not more, just to paint this house, which is crazy. I, probably the most paint I ever used on one job because I don't, I did used to paint, but I don't like painting that much. It's too crazy. That much painting, 30 gallons. Most people get over it after one, but our plan is, this is all my dad's plan pretty much, but he wants to take everything up, like all the carpet off the stairs, I said that already. He wants to put this white couch back up in that room and take all this carpet out. I don't know what he wants to do with the rest of this shit, but he wants to bring the cactuses and everything from the kitchen down in here once it's just concrete. Paint the whole ceiling. Leave these walls though as is, I think. I don't know if he wants to paint them. And then, yeah, paint the basement some kind. I'll show you guys the basement. It's a little bit heavy. But if you guys came down here with us before, he wants to get rid of both of these, both of those. Take down all these white slats every single one, unscrew them all and get rid of them. And then paint, clean and paint this whole basement and get rid of these shelves which are screwed in. I don't really know how. Oh, right here. Get rid of those. All those shelves, throw them out. So, this project's like really heavy. Never gonna finish it by the time we go back. Even if we worked here for two weeks straight, I don't think everything would be done. All right, we got this whole hallway. One coat. She's working on that. The light's coming out, so that's why we didn't paint around it. Because waiting for my dad to say what's going on with that, or if he says leaving it, we'll paint around it. But I'm about to take out this cabinet. It's too beat up to leave, and it's all dirty. Paint this closet, and then uh, maybe not even get that done today, but start working on that. This magnificent piece of art. Did you hear that guy pulling his trash can down? Yeah. So hopefully they take this if I break it apart in the trash. Weapon of choice, the pick, dude, the pick. <laughs> you only got about it. The pick. This thing sucks. Turner. I'm gonna wreck his truck. 
pick's not good for digging our shit. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna check out my grandpappy's car. Probably hasn't started it in six months easily. So let's see how it works. Look at this. Oh down here. my god. There's mold spores like look at this. You can get sick just from being in here. Why does it get like that? Every time. Alright, let's see if it starts. Blech. <laughs> no, dude, that's crazy. I don't understand why it's like that. Get in, Daddy. I'm alright. Let's try and take it for a ride. Alright, we're gonna try and take it for a ride. No, 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 I'm good. I'm good. There's mold all over the seat, dude. Alright, rolling out of here. Uh, done for the day here. Got a lot done. It's like four something and we're rolling out. We're going to go to the Whole Foods store and look at something there. And then we're going to head back to my papa's house. So successful day here. Um, got tons done and we'll be back tomorrow. I think Saturday we're going to take off a day and try and film something really epic. And then... Sunday probably we'll come back maybe Sunday Monday. I'm not sure if we're gonna stay that long, but We've been killing it here getting a lot done. So a few more days and we'll be almost Ready for the carpet guy to come in here So that's the claim Good, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna rain like a bitch. What's your claim? I'm waiting to see if it's gonna rain. My claim? Yeah Nothing. We got a hell of a job. Who does? The where we're working, uh, it's insane. Actually, it's right on the way. Are you a construction guy, though? So it doesn't matter. No, no. no. Filming for months. Oh. You may see the prints now. You stink, Lono. Look at him. Oh. <laughs> you should see that shot I just got. I saw the, I saw it. You have to pause that. He's so cute. The no no shot. Oh, yeah. That was a 20 second clip already. Alright, where you are. <laughs> About to get to sleep. We're at my dad's house in Pennsylvania still working on the spot tomorrow again at Bob's more painting it's supposed to rain so I don't know how that's gonna go obviously the works fine but I was trying to film one clip uh, by the power plant and I don't think we can do that if it's raining out but I just wanted to say that we got about almost 40 more subscribers today since last night so it's growing faster now than ever which is so classic and I don't know I just didn't know that so many people would want to watch our daily lives like at first I started making videos only one stuff was exciting and now I'm doing every day so like some days aren't as cool as others but it's cool to see like people picking out parts of your day that you don't think are exciting and relating to them because they've done the same thing or picking out something they saw that you didn't even notice or just pointing out something that you think is mediocre because they've never seen it before just because you've done it a hundred times doesn't mean everyone has and that's the beauty of YouTube you share your life through a video camera and everyone's life is actually really a lot different when you look at it that way um, just tiny little aspects that are interesting to watch I see myself doing it too just watching YouTube videos that aren't even exciting really but it's just like to see how other people live is kind of interesting so just thought about that and just super excited thank you guys everyone for subscribing and watching and for everyone that 
pretty much comments. There's like a group of people that comment on every video and I've been slacking a little bit on answering the comments, but thank you guys so much for all the support. Um, it's just amazing. I've been getting such positive feedback. So the dream continues. We'll see you guys in the morning for some more claims. You. Good night or good morning. What? Good night or good morning. Are you ready? <laughs> you. Lola's going to sleep too.